hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please subscribe like and share today i'm going to be sharing with you how i de-stress you know how i relax and how i enjoy my life um so life isn't a bed of roses you know things can happen that just knock you off your feet you know changes can happen failures can happen you can be broke you know you can have arguments with your friends that just brings you out stresses you out you know you can be forced to you know compare yourself with your colleagues and all these things can be draining you know the thoughts about the future can be draining and you know you just want to have things that you can always go back to that you can always you know lean to that regenerates you and rejuvenate you and today i'm going to be sharing with you some things i do that really helps me chill relax and you know refresh myself the first thing on my list is zooming out. Now, when I zoom out, I just sit down, relax, and listen to some good old music. And most of the time, I listen to um, when I'm trying to, you know, relax, and when I'm stressed out, I listen to Christian music because it can be very, very refreshing, very soothing, very comforting, you know. So, um, the thing about good christian music is it reassures you right that there's a bigger picture you know there's a bigger purpose there's someone bigger than you you know <laughs> so yeah definitely if you need good christian music you can hit me up and i'll share with you the ones i listen to that actually help me then of course you can listen to any other music you love any other music that refreshes you but surely don't listen to music that reminds you of a past that is hurting don't listen to music that reminds you of an event that really messed you up. So yeah, the next thing on my list is walking. Now, walking is a very constant part of my routine. I always walk to school. I walk back home. But um, when you're walking to refresh yourself, you just want to walk on like a random day. You know, you don't want to walk for a purpose. You just want to walk because of walking sake. And the thing about walking is that it's just like zooming out. Your mind goes on different different errands and you know it's just when you're walking I like to say when you're walking it's like your brain is flying right because your mind is just diffused and walking is a good way to solve problems and most of all it helps you to just you know forget about your problems because there's no way you can remain I don't know but to me there's no way you can really focus on one thought while you're walking except you're constantly saying that thought out loud but when you're walking, you're sure to see something new that will drift your mind towards that direction. So yeah, walking is cool. Another thing I do when I'm stressed out is to rant to a friend or a sister or someone I trust. And ranting is a good way to just relieve your stress. Even if the next person doesn't have all the solutions to your problems, but just having someone you can always talk to when you're stressed out and your pain and your heart is really cool so definitely if you have someone you can trust always talk to the person about how you're feeling and the good thing about this is that when you talk to someone else you sometimes you, you realize that you know what you think is a problem isn't actually a big problem you know it's something you can work with it's, some, it's something you can solve so definitely you should talk to someone then the next thing I do is journaling. Now, journaling is a form of talking to someone, but this time you're writing it down and it always feels like I'm lifting up my burdens into a paper. And when I lift up my burdens, it's like, okay, it's no longer my burden. It's now on paper. So it helps you to understand your problems and helps you to, you know, analyze it. And, you know, when you write it down, somehow, maybe if it's something you can solve, you might come up with a solution or it's just relieving to put it down on paper at least for me so definitely journaling is something i've always done you know especially when i'm stressed out but even on a normal day i usually journal when i have the time so journaling is a good way to just keep on you know you know renewing your mind and i don't know another thing about the journaling is that when you're done writing you feel like you have accomplished something right so you know that seeing that productivity you know helps you just makes you happy somehow makes me happy at least and the next thing i do when i'm stressed out is i sketch you know i draw i'm not an artist my drawings are not good at all 
but when I'm stressed, I I drop. Okay, what I realize is that sometimes in class when I'm really tired and the lecture is so boring, I can start instead of writing notes, I start drawing you know random stuff that I don't even understand. So what I did is I got a sketchbook. So now whenever I'm stressed, I just open it and draw. Sometimes I color. It doesn't have to make sense, but it relieves my stress and it's just a way of letting out what how I how I'm feeling on paper. So it's really cool. Then another thing I try to reassure myself is that you know, especially when I'm worried about tomorrow, about what will happen, maybe I'm uncertain about the choice I've made. And you know, what I always tell myself is that the future is not a place you go. The future is not a place that you go to. The future is not like your your neighbor, right? The future is a place you are going to. So the future is is a place you are going to, not a place you go to, right? So um, sometimes when you're worried, so worried about the future that it stresses you out, maybe you should take a step back and realize that the future is the future because you don't know anything about it. So maybe you should let it be and you know, allow it to move forward. But for now, maybe you should just accept everything you have and everything in your life and make the best out of it. Definitely, when you can't change some things, you have to learn how to accept it and make the best of it. Another thing that helps is having a routine that involves taking care of yourself. You don't have to be stressed out before you decide that you're going to take care of yourself. You can have a constant routine where you have to take care of yourself, you know, like going for a massage therapy, you know, hanging out with friends, and this just keeps on rejuvenating you constantly. So you're always pumped and ready for the day, and you don't wait till you're drained out completely to before you, you know, go out and do something for yourself. You know, so these are all the tips I have for you know distressing. I hope you find one or two helpful. For now it is peace, namaste, have a pleasant week ahead. Thank you. Bye.